Today, we live in a society which offers us a conflicting outlook on life. On the one hand, we're encouraged to admire rock star hedonists who live for the moment without a care for the future. On the other hand, we're expected to be sensible, keeping one eye on our pension plan even while we're busy having fun. We want to have our low-fat, gluten-free cake and eat it. The trouble with either approach, short-term thinking or long-term thinking, is that it ignores a further possibility, that we can pursue pleasure today while still benefiting ourselves tomorrow. Many of us believe, almost unconsciously, that pursuing pleasure too eagerly will reap negative consequences. It would be wonderful if we could eat pistachio ice cream whenever we wanted and never gain weight. Sadly, life just won't allow it. But pleasure need not be feared or avoided, so long as we pursue it in a balanced and mature manner, working with our desires rather than trying to change them altogether. Travelling, for example, is full of adventure. It's exciting, but that doesn't mean it isn't good for you. Research suggests that learning a new language can improve cognitive function in later life. Picking up words and phrases as you go can keep your brain in good shape without being stuck inside a classroom. This isn't the only way to enjoy today whilst improving tomorrow. A well-known paradox of the typical French diet is that despite consuming camembert, croissant, tartin, madeleine, confit of duck and fattening charcuterie, we don't see any increase in national levels of coronary heart disease. Somehow, without worrying about their future health, the French enjoy their favorite foods and still have healthy hearts. The secret here is really no secret at all. Being true to what you enjoy is good for you, in moderation.